Um, I saw the news this morning. Mm-hmm. And it was this lady on now putting a man on blast because he was taking her to cheesecake for the first date. Correct. So I want to talk to you about that. Okay, let's okay. Yeah, because she put him on blast. First of all, the fact that she had to go live because she on the first date says she don't must don't go on many dates because you it's no need to go live for that. I am a little old-fashioned. So what I say, y'all might not agree with it, but let me talk to y'all for just a minute. So... One, she go live and say, y'all, Cheesecake Factory. Y'all, Cheesecake Factory. Now, I'm wondering who y'all is. Because whoever y'all is would have had to come pick her up. Because I would have left her behind sitting right there at the Cheesecake Factory. A table for one is always good enough. Y'all should have watched the Muffets. They said that. Now, check this out, son. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let me tell you the purpose of going on a first date, mind you. There we go. Okay. It's to get to know the person because you don't know you like them. All you know is you're attracted to them. They caught your eye. They haven't captured your heart. That's so they shouldn't have access to your, to your wallet. Okay? The second thing of the purpose of a, a date, especially a first date, okay, is to enjoy yourself in a comfortable, safe environment. You want to laugh. You want to ask questions. Most of the time, if the date is real good, you're not even eating. So this is what I want to ask. My mother raised me as a single parent, and she did take time to raise me. Here's some rules and things that she taught me. Coming up as a child, number one, don't ever go nowhere hungry. Matter of fact, I don't care if it's family. You don't go to your auntie house walking in there asking for food. You don't go to your grandmother's house walking in the door saying you hungry. You certainly don't need no broad getting in the car, and she ain't got nothing to eat. The, the second thing is because my mama was a real mother, she raised me. Until the age of 13 where she met my father, who's my bonus dad, but he's my father. Do you understand me? It's a difference between a daddy and a father. He, he, he my daddy. My father is the, bio, is the sperm donor, okay? Check this out. He's my dad. I want you to ask them, where's the restaurant they daddy take them? You asking him about the first restaurant he going to take you to. What's the last restaurant your daddy took you to? Because you shouldn't be coming to him to be your daddy. That's not his role. It's a first date. I want y'all to bring that down to level three. Y'all weigh on ten with this foolishness and want to embarrass somebody. My second question is, have you ever been anywhere? Where do you take yourself? Let me see your, your checkbook registry. Let me log into your bank account and see what you feed yourself on a regular basis. Where do you take yourself for lunch or dinner? That's the next question I want you to answer. And then the third thing about this, uh, yeah, come on back over here because I need you to understand what time it is. A real lady, a lady is going to be there for the purpose of what it's for. She's not looking for food because she's hungry that she can't afford so she can take it to go and get a doggy bag. I'm going to wrap this up to go. Why? You ain't going to have food tomorrow? That's a poverty Mm -hmm. mindset. So a first date, again, Mm -hmm. is to get to know the person, to hang out, have fun. Mm -hmm. Y'all should be laughing and talking. It don't need to be a steakhouse. We don't even know if you work a steak. You might just be worth a piece of bread. So ladies, Young ladies, grow up. Get some maturity about yourself. Y'all buying titties, lashes, booties, and everything else. And you want somebody else to feed you. Save your money. Stop buying your body and put it to the side so you can have some, some, some food. That's not a man's responsibility. Now, once you dating a man, and once he get to know you, and y'all vibing, and he want to take you to a nice restaurant, guess what that means? You well deserving of that. He think enough about you to make a reservation. But some of you don't have reservations about your mouth. You talk bad. You disrespectful. You ghetto. You trifling. You don't have an income that substantiates what you want this man to do. You don't reserve being lazy. You full out lazy. You have no reservations on that. But you want, he, well, you want the men to make a reservation for a restaurant, but you don't reserve what's between your legs. You passing it out oh, like candy. Oh, oh, You rated E for everybody. Oh, my. All righty. All right. <laughs>